In this video, I want to just touch on a couple of other things in our articles. Go ahead and open the Joomlaville overview article. And you'll notice again, this is our WYSIWYG editor. It's called TinyMCE, as I've mentioned. And you can do all kinds of things with it. Cut, copy, paste, insert images, insert links, horizontal lines, format, bold, italic, underline. It looks a little bit like Word, but it really isn't like Word. It's nowhere near as powerful. These icons match the drop-down menus, and we're able to do things like make the word Joomlaville bold, make the words great climate italic, and you probably have done something like this in the past. We can add ordered lists and unordered lists, and we'll clean some of those up as we go. Another thing I'd like to mention in the article section of this course are tags. Tags is another way of separating out your content or categorizing your content and allowing people to find it via these tags that you set up. So I'm going to tag this particular article with overview. And you'll notice as I type and hit enter, it just adds a new tag. And I'm going to add the tag for climate. And I think I'll just end there. You'll see that you can add as many tags as you want. You want to be careful there not to add too many. So that's tags. There is a tag manager, and we'll look at that in just a bit. You should use tags to link articles together that may not be in the same category, but have some of the same information. All right, next. You can start the publishing and finish the publishing on any article. So let's say this article contained information about a sale on Saturday. But after the sale is done, I don't want the article to show up anymore. Well, I can just click and choose Saturday's date. And you'll see at the time of this recording, it's May 9th, 2016. So if I chose May 14th at 2049, at 2100 hours, this article would disappear off my site. If I don't want to do that anymore, I can just highlight it and delete it. You'll notice I can select another user who might have written this article. I can add meta description and keywords and can't recommend that enough for SEO. On the images and links tab, I have the ability to add an intro image and a full article image. And I want to look at that in a separate video because there's a lot to talk about with that. I can also add links at the bottom of an article. And I can override any of the display options that I might have set up in the global options. And we'll talk about that in another video as well. As well as configuring the edit screen and setting permissions for this individual article so that if I only want a certain group of people to be able to see it, then that group would be the ones to see it. We'll talk a little bit more about that towards the end of this course. Back on content, we've talked about the WYSIWYG editor briefly. We've talked about access levels. Is it featured? And we'll cover that in another video. And the tagging system. Down here at the bottom, I have a button that toggles the editor, which gives me the HTML view. One thing to remember, you don't want to do too much design in these articles. In other words, if you remember from our discussion on what is a content management system, you want to let Joomla manage the look and feel of your content once you've applied the template that you've selected. If you insert a bunch of divs and a bunch of CSS in here, it's going to make a real mess. So especially for you Joomla beginners, I encourage you just leave this as the WYSIWYG editor and type or copy and paste into your source code so that you can then apply all of the formatting that you want. Go ahead and click Save and Close and we'll move on to the next video.